Hello, welcome to my channel. Yesterday was Mother's Day and I went down memory lane thinking of all the things my mother used to make and sell. So today we are going to show you three different things that she used to sell which is fried nuts, fried chana and fried boiled broad beans. These are prepared in the similar way but slight difference. The ingredients that I'm going to use for my three recipes are I have uh, onions finely sliced I have dry nuts I have white chana which I soaked overnight but you can also use the brown chana I'm using broad beans which I boiled I'm going to use oil accordingly I'm going to use dry chilies mustard seed, salt, pure chili powder. My mother used to prepare all this in large amounts, but I am going to show you in a small amount. I'm going to start off by frying my nuts. I've got my stove on medium heat and my non-stick frying pan is heated up and had in my nuts. I will keep mixing this nuts till it turn color. Five minutes has passed and you could hear the crackling sound of the nuts and it also roasted a little. I'm going to use little droplets of oil to the pan not too oily. And allow this to come beautiful red color. This nuts is fried out. To the nuts, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of fine salt. and half a teaspoon of pure chili powder. And now I'm ready to take this nuts out from the heat. As you can see, this nut is done. To the same frying pan, just give it a quick wipe. I'm going to add in a little bit of oil. This must be about a tablespoon. And this chana was one cup when I soaked overnight. Add in my chana. I will keep mixing till the chana be about halfway fried. Now my chana has fried a little. I am going to add in half a teaspoon of my salt. Give it a nice mix. To cook my chana, I'm going to add in a cup of water. And I also allow this water to boil. 
I will cover my frying pan and allow the chana to cook. Now my chana is cooked. To this I added two cups of water so it's cooked but still firm. Firstly I'm going to add in my dry chilies by breaking them and allowing this to fry. You can use dry chilies to your taste. My dry chilies had to fry completely with the chana. My dry chilies has fried out and I'm using half a teaspoon of mustard seed to sprinkle. And thereafter, I'm going to throw in my onions so my onions can fry out. Give this a nice mix and allow this to fry. It has been about 10 minutes and my onions are done. I'm just going to allow this chana to get a little bit more crispy. To avoid my onions from burning, I continued stirring. Now the chana is fried out and we did adjust the salt to another half a teaspoon. So all in all it's one teaspoon of salt. I am ready to take this chana out of the frying pan. Now we are going to also use our same frying pan for the last recipe. My last recipe is the boiled broad beans. This I'm going to use about two tablespoons of oil because broad beans requires a little extra oil. To my oil, I'm going to firstly add in my dry chilies. Also, I forgot to make mention I'm going to use one stem of fresh curry leaf. And one teaspoon of mustard seed. And my mustard seed has popped. I'm going to add in my broad beans. Thank you. And thereafter, one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to continue mixing it till it fries. Because my broad beans is boiled out, so it will cook faster. Yeah, my broad beans is done. It's nice and dry. But to this point, if you like it a little oily, you can add an additional splash of oil. Before switching my stove off, I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit of pure chili powder, like this, and then switch my stove off. Now I'm ready to serve. Here you go, three recipes that brings great memories of my mother. She used to cook and sell, and sell many other things to make a little extra cash.
I will quickly show you how we used to sell our nuts. We used to make a cone out of our paper. And then just fold it in. Right till the top. And bring down this. Make a nice, neat looking cone with the fold. There you are. My mom used to sell this for just two cents in the 60s and 70s. These days, two cents don't even exist. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all give these three recipes a try. This makes a quick snack, or just take them out for a picnic. We will catch you on the next video.